John, they say in golf that the sand trap uh, is one of the easiest shots in golf. Um, I don't see it that way. What, what do you say? <laughs> well, for the very advanced player, it is kind of an easy shot. For the amateur who can, that, this can, this, I've seen it ruin rounds easily, ruin their scores, handicaps, because of a misconception that they have, and not even so much a misconception, just what they're really doing compared to what they really want to do. So, one of the rules about sand play is that if I draw this line where actually I'm trying to land the club, then the ball is going to be approximately two inches in front of that line, and I think most people know that. This line goes two inches inside of my left heel. My stance is a little bit open. Stance is about shoulder width. Everyone's got that idea. But what happens here, when I quiz people on bunker play, and they're really struggling pro, I can't get out of any of these bunkers. I said, here's the, here's the story. You have to be able to, when you swing, get this club hitting where your eyes are moving to, which is that line. When I have them do this drill, inv invariably, this is what happens. They're oftentimes six to eight inches away from their strike point. So when you hit out of sand, it blows up and you don't know where you hit it, but when you're that far behind, that ball will go stay in the trap. If you don't address this little problem, you then get sick of leaving it in the trap, and then you miss the sand totally and hit the middle of the ball, then you got it 50 yards. So what has to happen is that you practice drawing lines, getting your eye focused, and using good sand players are almost always very handsy on the way back, wristy. All the greats have been very loose with the wrists. Oh, God. Okay, still start over. 